No matter to what extent you've mobilized your business, at Peak RiseX, we believe that your enterprise mobility solution should add value throughout the whole length of its life cycle. To ensure this is the case, Peak RiseX have created a unique set of services to guide our customers through every angle of a mobility deployment, from strategy creation, through to application selection, managed services, and data analytics. We call this the five phases of mobility. During this series of videos, our experts will take a deep dive into every phase, providing valuable insight, allowing you to sidestep some of the more common pitfalls, but ultimately maximizing your return on investment. The review phase is about collecting real-time data and using this in your business to transform it into actionable intelligence. Most of our customers are using data analytics now to review the performance of their service. Typically that's in terms of customer service, so the service delivery, the customer satisfaction and other service levels or key performance indicators of their service. Using the data analytics that we deploy here, we're able to tell by, for example, device manufacturer the reliability of the device, that might be its screen or its keyboard or its radio. We're able to look at, for example, how the software is used on top of that device. We're able to look at things like data network performance, so we're able to tell by network operator, by postcode, how well the service is running. That allows us to help our customers make the choices about which hardware, which software, which airtime provider. It also allows us to help them understand demographically which device to put in which hand, how to train and educate that particular user. Um, we know that as the um, market changes, the potency towards technology is increasing, i.e. people are much more used to a smartphone environment, so the training needs on those particular users are different. We've also used data to look at actually how the service runs from an overall repair and return basis. So we're looking at things where things are failing or breaking and using the data to help the customers understand and preempt some of those issues they may experience in the field six to nine months after they may have deployed the solution. One of the OEM manufacturing partners that we work with has a way of manufacturing their devices through serial numbers that allows us to look at exactly when those devices were manufactured. We track that against repairs and faults and damage that may have occurred in that estate. And one example of this is where we've seen a larger number than normal of faults by a particular device type. We tracked it back to the serial number. We then were able to identify that those devices were made in a certain factory at a certain time. We looked at those devices in the same factory built at the same time, currently live in the field, and we started to take those devices out of the field and preempt an issue. Now, in 90% of the cases, there was no issue with the device, but the customer themselves suffered no actual downtime and actually we preempted what could have been potentially an issue. We're seeing much more data analytics being used to sharpen and refine service offerings to increase quality and reduce cost or waste. That allows them to look at forecasting or modelling how a service may or may not perform before they actually launch the service. Data analytics is also being used inside organisations to look at other performance measures and indicators. It allows customers to look at the performance of their service from an internal perspective, are their employees doing the right things at the right time to the right level of quality? Have they got the right measurement in place around KPIs and other service levels? So again, customers are using it to sharpen their own internal measurements around how do we run our service? Have we got the right service in place? And is it actually meeting the requirement of our customer?